오늘 우리 광야에서 산업인이 보아야 할 겁니다. Now today we're going to talk about what the business person must see in the wilderness. 광야에서 왜 광야입니까? Now why is it the wilderness? 어, 지금 우리는 광야를 걸어가고 있기 때문에. It's because we are walking through that wilderness now. 옛날 얘기 아니냐 싶지만은 지금 똑같은 역사에 넘. You might think that this is an old story, but the same works are taking place even now. 우리 산업인들은 거의 중직자지요. That our business people, they are mainly church officers. 이 광야길 걸어가는데 꼭 기억해야 될 부분이 하나 있습니다. And so there is something you must remember while walking through this wilderness path. 예, 대부분 사람들이 그 잘못된 방법으로 걸어가고 있어요. The more and more the people are walking in an incorrect manner. 길은 가는데 잘못된 방법으로 가요. They're going down that path, but they are going in an incorrect manner. 예, 광야에서 이 사람들이 And 99.9% of the people in the wilderness are like that. 아주 소수 이 사람 때문에 살았는데 0.1%의 사람들이 이 광야길을 제대로 걸어간 거죠. And it's because the vast minority, the 0.1% that properly walked through the wilderness, that everything was revived. 그걸 우리 산업인들은 붙잡아야 돼. That is what our business people must hold to today. 대부분의 우리는 뭐 이거 했나 저거 했나 이렇게 얘기합니다. Most people say we need to do this or we need to do that. 이 광야길 좀 걸어가는데 정해져 있는데 대부분 그렇게 생각합니다. Walk in the wilderness, that's already said, but most people think this way. 또 대부분 그것 때문에 갈등하고 싸우고 이렇게 합니다. And most people they have conflicts and they fight over that. 그래서 각 세계 교회들 보면은 중직자들 그안 싸우는 교회 거의 없어요. And so if you look at all the churches throughout the nation or the world, there are so many church officers who fight amongst themselves. 그리고 뭐 갈등 안 하는 교회 거의 없어요. And there isn't any church that doesn't have conflicts. 그게 문제가 아닙니다. But that's not the issue. 뭘 하나 모르고 있는 거니까 우리가 만들어지는 영적 상태 뒤에 응답이 온다는 걸 알아요. They need to know the one fact that the spiritual state as well as what takes place after that. If we're not careful, even the right words might not be the right words. What do we mean by that? It's not on this side, the spiritual state. If you don't know this, you're the same as an unbeliever. It doesn't matter what region you are in. 서울든 호남 지역이든 상관없습니다. 이 부분 되어지면 무조건 됩니다. It's been a long time since I visited this to the world church, but it doesn't matter whether you are in Honam or in Seoul. It this must take place a spiritual state. 그럼 광야의 특징이 뭡니까? And what's the characteristic of the wilderness? 아무것도 없는 데서 시작했어요. It began where there was nothing. 광야는 아무것도 없는 겁니다. There's nothing in the wilderness, but that's where they were taken in. 거기에 대한 확실한 증거를 지금 하나님이 보여주신. And they were able to do everything there, and God is showing the sure proof of that. 대부분의 그 열방 있는 국가들하고 애굽이 광야로 나가면은 죽는다고 생각했어요. The majority of the other nations, including Egypt, they thought that if you go into the wilderness, you would die. 죽지 않았습니다. But they did not die. 몇명 때문에 다 살았습니다. Because of a vast minority, everyone was revived. 우리는 지금 여기 있다고 생각해요. We must think that we are in this wilderness. 사람 많이 있지만 실제로는 여기. Yes, there are many people, but realistically, we are in the wilderness. 이스라엘 민족이 광야에 있게 된 이유부터 알아야 돼. And so know the reason why the Israelites were in the wilderness in the first place. 여러분 말 겁니다 이미. I'm sure you already know. It's just Israel that didn't know. 그왜 우리가 여기 있어야 되는지. Why do we have to be here? And why they went to Egypt? It's just the Israelites who did not know this. And why we were being so tormented by the Egyptians? They're just terrible people. That's all they thought of. Then you can't have that. 여러분만이라도 눈을 떠야 여러분 교회 살립니다. At least you must open up your eyes in order to save the church. 그러니까. 복음 모르니까 흑암 속에 있을 수밖에 없잖아요. And so not knowing the gospel, they have no choice but to be in darkness. 그래서 애굽에게는 당연히 지는 거예요. And so then rightfully they lose to Egypt. 왜냐하면 흑암 길이 살기 때문에 강한 흑암이 이기는 거죠. Why? Because they're going down this world in the dark path, and so it's the darkness that seems to want to overcome. 그래 본들입니다. But still. 우리 중인자분들, 사람들 꼭 기억해야 돼요. Our church officers, our business people, you must remember. 당장 응답도 누려야 되지만은. 
반드시 오는 응답을 누려. That you must enjoy the immediate answers, but you must also absolutely enjoy the answers that are to come. 이거 눈에 안 보이니까 다 놓치는 거야. But not because see that you lose hold of everything. 그래서 뭐 전국 세계계 우리 저 중자 여러분들 귀중한 분들입니다. 맨날 뭐 자리에 싸움 뭐 다른 거 하지 마세요. 그거 아무 가치 없는 겁니다. So our church offers throughout the nation and the world. You're very precious people, and so don't fight over those positions and seats. 하기야 뭐그 목사들도 그러니까 말이야. But there are even pastors that do that. 제가 우리 비서도 알지만은 그죠. 한기총이 왜안 나가는 거니까 이제 어 우리 팀들이 많아요. 한기총 가면요. 그렇게 하면 혹시 저를 보고 한기총 대표장 나오는가 싶어. 전부 불을 켜가지고 살펴. And so the reason why I'm not part of one of the Korean dominations, even though a lot of my members are there, is because if I do show up, they're all standing in line to wonder if I'm going to become the next moderator. 이리저리 물어보고 나는 그런 거 없다. And so people ask me this or that, and I said, no, I don't want to do any of that. 도저히 영적 상태가 문제가. It's the spiritual state that's the problem. 그러니 한국에 어려움 올 수밖에 없는데. And so hardships are bound to come to, to the Korean churches, and so you too must not be this way. It can take place in the Honam, it can take place even in Busan, even in the waters, it took place in the wilderness. You must know that because according to this, answers absolutely follow. Why was it that they were in the wilderness for 40 days, 40 years? 가지 뭐 이유 있습니다만은 가장 중요한 거는 각인돼야만 뿌리 체질되는 굉장한 응답이 온다. There might be various reasons, but the most important is that you have to have the imprint for the root and nature to follow. 여러분 우리가 만들어진 영적 상태에 대해서 생각 마음에서 오는 응답이다 이 부분들을. Regarding the spiritual state and the actual answers that come to our heart and our mind, because of that, people don't realistically know it. Then think about it. Elementary school students, they don't give birth. But even in our elementary school, there was this one um uh, one poster on top of our, on the wall. It says that oh, it doesn't matter if it's a son or a daughter. Let's just have just two children because we were having too many kids. 그러니까 이 과학자들도 그렇고 정치인들도 그렇고 이 사람들이 근본을 모르니까 그렇게 계속 얘기한 거예요. And that's why these politicians, as well as these intellectuals, they don't know about the fundamentals. That's why they kept on emphasizing that. 지금 우리가 큰일 났습니다. 그거 없어지는데 한 2, 300년 걸리는 겁니다. And right now, our nation is in trouble because the low birth rate. It's going to take several decades before that changes. We're in trouble right now. That there are no children anymore. And that's been long gone in the countryside now. That almost 100% of the school buildings in the countryside are closed. And even in the suburbs, we're seeing that the schools are closing as well. It's because they don't know about the spiritual state. 우리 인간이 영적 상태가 잘못 만들어지면 그 뒤에 뭐가 온다는 것을 전혀 알지 못해. Then if our spiritual state is incorrectly formed, we don't. They're they're completely unaware of the fact of the things that follow that. 여러분까지 모르면 여기에 우리가 모일 이유도 없다니까. And if you too are oblivious to this, then there's no reason for us to gather here today. 어 제가 사십 년에 개척 다시 시작할 때요. 제일 중요한 게이 부분이에요. That when I began my church 40 years ago, this was the most important thing: the spiritual state. 뭐 어려운 거, 없는 거, 전혀 갈등하지 않았어요. Things being hard, not having anything. No, I didn't have any conflicts over that at all. 없어요. Why? Because that did not matter to me. 없다고, that because I don't have that, can I not preach the gospel? No, it doesn't matter. 그래서 정확한 영적 상태하고 복음 전했는데요. 정말 몇년 만에 폭발. The actual spiritual state, just proclaiming the gospel, and in just a few years, it became explosive. 지금도 늦지 않습니다. It's not late, even now. 호남에 전국 세계 있는 중기자 산업인들이 영적인 힘 얻어버리면 끝나는 겁니다. In Honam as well as throughout the nation, the world, if our spirit, if our church offices gain spiritual power, then that's it. 광야 길을 가는 목적은 뭐? What was the goal of walking through the wilderness? 일주일도 안 걸릴 거. 왜 사십 년? It didn't even take one week, but why did it take forty years? 근본적인 걸 회복하기 위해서지만은 사실상 더 중요한 건 뭡니까? Yes, in order to restore the fundamental things, but honestly, what's more important? 세계 복음을 준비를 시킨 거야. That they were preparing for world evangelization. 아니, 준비가 안 됐는데 가면 되겠어. Then if I'm not prepared, how can I go? 하나님이 지금 준비를 시키는 거야. But God is preparing them now. 자, 그 중에서 여러분들이 세계를 바꿀 수 있는 
세 가지를 하나님이 주셨어요. In the midst of all that, God has given you three things to change the world. 여러분 산업하고 전혀 상관이 없다고 생각되는데 가장 관계 있어요. You might think that has nothing to do with your business, but it is the most connected to your business. And if that happens, answers come. 성경에 있는 말씀 중요한 것이 내 산업하고 가장 연관돼 있어요. The important words of the Bible they need to be the most connected to your business. 네, 그것도 잘못된 사람 그걸 가지고 어, 내 산업을 복음을 이용하고 교회를 이용하려고 하는데 그거는 아니죠. 응답과 관계 있는. And some people they try to they misunderstand that and they think that they have they can manipulate the church, manipulate the gospel to the advantage of their business, but that's not it. 그거 세 가지가 나왔어요. And so those three things. The three feasts, and so it's tremendous. The Ark of the Covenant. Then these are tremendous things. The Tabernacle. 오늘은 우리 특히 우리 대구 팀들이 날부터 사는 가지고 지금. And today, in particular, we have our Tegu team, and with a great sense of mission, they've been doing ministry to Latin America. And the way I see it, one third of the world evangelization lies with South on Latin America. And so, you need to really research this and look at it, and may raise many seminaries in Latin America. So, 없는 쪽에는 막바로 우리가 힘을 합쳐 가지고요 본부 차원에서. And in places that they don't have a seminary, we can really put our strength together from our headquarters and really have this contact-free or online seminaries. And quickly revive Latin America. Then America, there's Arizona University. And these people are, oh, they've opened by so much that they've collected 70 college students. 그 대학이도 아리조나 대학입니다. 1억 명을 모집해. They got together 70 people. 비대면. And they're doing a virtual classes. 어디다 왔냐? 전 세계로. And they're looking out at the entire world. 특히 어디를 나냐? 남미 쪽으로 눈도 사. And especially they're opening their eyes towards Latin America. 남미 눈도 사람 있을 거 아니야. I'm sure there are many people in Latin America who have opened their eyes as well. 무시무시 동시에 그냥. 그럼 전부 자격증 주고 돈안 받고. And simultaneously, they're doing this, and they're giving them their certification as well as not taking any of their money. It really is something. And the way I see that too is under the influence of three organizations. And so you need to grab hold of accurate and very sure gospel to save Latin America. Then how are the three feasts related to your business? I think about it. Your life, your state, as well as your business, it is set free from curses. That is Passover. That you have to have strength in your business, spiritual power. That is Pentecost. And what is the most important background for your life and for your business? It's God's kingdom. It's tremendous, isn't it? And the mystery of God's kingdom. If you don't know this, then you don't know prayer. Every time you pray, this mystery comes. 이걸 여러분이 본격적으로 세계 복음화로 산업 다 붙잡는 산업이 살아나게 됩니다. And full fledged world evangelization, if you grab hold this, then your business will really be revived. 뭐 나는 뭐 굉장한 분들이요, 거의 다 축복을 놓치고 있어. But tremendous people are all losing hold of these tremendous blessings. 얼마나 이 중요한 축복들이 많은지 몰라. And you don't know how important these blessings are. 은약기는 뭡니까? Then what is the Ark of the Covenant? 절대 안 없어지는 The stone tablets. It contains a covenant that will never disappear. How amazing is this? And there we have this jar. That it is a jar of manna. And there is a power that God gives us that we can maintain our life. Why do we give worship? Why do we hold to the word? Why do we listen to the sermon? It's not about Aaron. That God allowed Aaron's staff to bud. 
목사님 설교를 통해서 하나님이 역사하시겠다고 말해요. That through your pastor sermon, God is saying He wants to work. Remember that. 목사님의 설교가 여러분 귀에 안 들어온다. 나쁜 말로 끝난 겁니다. If you can't listen to the pastor's sermon, then very negatively speaking, it's over for you. 인생이 끝난 거예요. Your life is over. 언제 망하냐? 그는 시간 뺏다. That how much time do you have left? That's in God's hands. 광야길 걸어가면서 하나님 말씀 안 듣는 사람이요. Well, walk through the wilderness, those who did not listen to God's word, life, it was over for them. All that's left ahead of them are funerals. And that's why while walking through the forest, wilderness, they kept on having funerals, no matter what the reason. Even if my worst enemy was giving the sermon, I'm not listening to his words, I'm listening to the words God relays through him. And if this does not take place, it's not going to work. It doesn't matter who gives the sermon. That person is not giving the sermon. They're just running God's errands. It's the worth of the word. Isn't that so? In the past, there was no way to relay news, so they just wrote letters. And just because the person who brought that letter is not very good looking, there's no reason for you to refuse that letter. Isn't that so? Oh, the postman looks so strange. I'm not going to receive that letter. There's no reason for that. It doesn't matter who gives a sermon. God is giving the word. That means that your spiritual state is living. It's this. God used so many methods in order to explain this one thing in the wilderness. For I truly, I really experience this. And there's nothing to worry about. All the things you're worried about, it's wrong. This is what's important to spiritual state. Our elders, it is your spiritual state, your spiritual background is what's important. That's why we gather to the tabernacle given by God. That's why we come to church. This is very important. It's explained in Exodus 26, verse 1 through 37. That what's important is that when you go into the tabernacle, there is the holy place and the most holy place. And there are many holy articles inside. All that explains salvation and the Christ. And there is the most holy place, and that is talking about the works of the triune God that take place through Christ. And gathering to this blessing is what we call the tent of meetings. But it doesn't just end with that. That all of your businesses, you have to have this line of prayer towards God, and that is a tent or the booth. And so, and they would actually take these feasts to build these tents. And most of the times, their tents they were built so that it would the door would face the tabernacle. Oh, is it south facing? Is it east facing? It doesn't matter. It would all be facing the temple, the tabernacle. Then that's it for your business. So start now. That strangely, somehow works are taking place in your business. And others don't know about that. It's this mystery. That unbelievers look at you and they realize, oh, there's something about that person. And so the work that you are doing may seem small, but there is a tremendous background. And even though you may not be doing great things, realize that you are doing the one important thing in God's perspective. And so the prayer that you will always enjoy. 393. The trying God, the blessing of the throne, and looking out to the coming ages, always. And 
흐름이 있어요. And also regarding God's word or even his 그쵸? answers, there is a stream. 아, 이 응답이 지금 내게 어느 정도 왔다 하는 흐름이 있을 거 아니에요. And to what extent has an answer come to me now? That's the stream. 아, 이 응답이 나하고는 전혀 멀리 있다. Oh, this answer is so distant from me. Then that's the stream as well. Then we've got to find it. Oh, this blessing is always near me. We know that stream. It's very important. Always hold on to this, and within that, as you're living your whole life, you're thinking about today. Israel 민족이 광야를 간다 생각하지 말고 평생 내 살아가는 이 애굽에서부터 가나안 땅까지 가야 되는 중에 오늘. Don't just think that the Israelites are walking to the wilderness, but from their journey from all the way to Egypt, their whole life long, they are holding on to today. 그래, 조금이라도 여러분들은 하나님 앞에서 이 선은 요 시간 가지셔야 돼. And so even if it's brief, have a moment of standing before God. 안 그러면은. 여러분이 24시 중에 평생 동안에 늘 사람에 대한 생각, 사람에 대한 말, 사람에 대한 상황 이것만 늘 보고 있어요. Without this, within your 24 hours, you're always going to be thinking about what people are saying or what people's way of view, uh, perspectives are. 나쁜 거, 틀린 건 아니지만 나를 실패시키는 거예요. Not that it's bad or incorrect, but it brings you failure. 그래서 하루에 잠깐이라도 하세요. And so at least one brief moment a day, do this. 그래서 암 환자 보고 그래요. I told one cancer patient. Wake up early in the morning and enter into deep prayer, doing deep breathing exercises. You'll find that it'll be very effective. 자 여러분들은 힘 얻으셔야 되는데 어떻게 얻어야 되느냐? 낙심할 필요도 없고 교만할 필요도 없어요. 왜냐하면 세상 그거 틀린 건데 왜 우리가 낙심합니까? 언약 나고. And you need to gain power. You need to gain strength. And so how do you do that? Don't be discouraged by the things of the world. Why? Because they're already incorrect. Hold to the covenant. 지금도 변함. 나 40년 전에 개척할 때 똑같은 마음입니다. 왜냐하면 나는 하나님의 말씀에 있는 대로만 할 것. Even now, it's unchanging. When I began 40 years ago, there was no reason to become discouraged because all I'm going to do is get grab hold of the power that's in God's word. 그 이상 그러면 나를 높일 이유도 없고 나타낼 이유도 없다. That there's no reason for me to show myself off or to do anything else. 오직 복음의 능력만이 사람 살리기 때문에. Only the power of the gospel can save lives. 갖고 있습니다. And so have this. 여러분들은 반드시 교회 살리는 주역으로 오늘부터 언약 자꾸 시작해 보세요. And so start now, grab hold of the covenant of being the main figure to save your churches and begin today. 그래서 멀쩡하게 가는 그 길에 광야에 하나밖에 없다. And so while walking the wilderness, there's only one thing. 이거 갖추고 가라. Equip your spiritual state. And absolutely, you will triumph. Uh, 새로 시작하는 모든 산업인 중직자 되어지기를 주 예수 이름으로 축복합니다. May you be the business people as well as a church office who begin a new name of Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. 모든 문제 해결자이신 예수 그리스도의 안에 May the grace of Lord Jesus Christ be the solution to all things. 하나님의 무한하신 사랑하신 And the infinite love of God our Father. And the work of the Holy Spirit. 광야에서 영적 축복과 힘을 회복할 모든 산업인들. Upon all the business people who will restore their spiritual blessings as state in the wilderness. 지금부터 영원까지. Be with now. 항상 함께 계실. And always forever. Amen.